but Jazakallah khairan. Um, we do have five more minutes left and uh, we are students of knowledge tonight and our teacher is with us. Uh, we want to take advantage of uh, seeking some kind of advice uh, from you before we leave and uh, before Hajj ends as well, Dr. Zakir. The thing is that uh, the Hajj is the biggest example of universal brotherhood. What we spoke about yesterday, about the equality. One thing to be noted that as far as, uh, ex I'm sorry, that happens. <laughs> you can <laughs> give it to me, by the way. I'll just leave it there. That uh, most of the religion speak about equality, about universal brotherhood. The best exemplary annual brotherhood and the largest annual gathering in the world is the Hajj. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, about three to four million people sure. every year, sure. they come together from different parts of the world, from USA, from Canada, from England, from Singapore, Malaysia, India, Pakistan, Egypt, China. from different parts of the world. And they're dressed up in two pieces of unsewn uh, white cloth. And you can't differentiate between the person next to you, whether he is a king or a pauper, right. black or white, yellow or brown, all are equal. So this Islam, unlike other religion, besides speaking, it, it actually practically demonstrates what is the unity. And when anyone comes for Hajj, he literally experiences this unity and his full life and his thinking changes, Alhamdulillah. And I know many people, many who were new, new Muslims, who were reverts, and Muslims have been for many years, and when they come for Hajj, the full life changes. And it's like our Prophet Muhammad said, Allah that if Allah accepts your Hajj, all your sins have been forgiven. Yeah. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah. that may accept Ameen. our Hajj. Ameen. And Ameen. may accept the duas that we do. Ameen. Jazakallahu khairan. Uh, Imam Siraj, would you like to give us a, a, a piece of advice within like the next 40 seconds? Two minutes. I'll give you two minutes. Can I do it in two, can I do it in two minutes? Or you have a minute and a half. Okay. There was a brother I knew, Alhamdulillah, a Muslim brother um, in New York City years ago. He told me, he said, Imam, I used to think that a Muslim making five prayers a day was, was excessive. I thought five prayers a day, you are extremist. Hmm. Allah bless him to make Hajj. Wallahi, that brother came back. Wallahi, Akhi, he came back a different man. Of course. He came back so different. His clothing changed, his facial hair changed. And Akhi, he became, I was so impressed with him. I knew him before and I knew him afterwards. Life altering. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make Hajj Mabru. Ameen. 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 Jazakallah. That's less than a minute. <laughs> well, it was a valuable 40 or 30 seconds, alhamdulillah. As you know, the program is coming to an end. Tomorrow is the last episode. We do have our special guests with us tonight. I don't know if they'll be with us tomorrow. Let me ask them to be with us tomorrow so that they could promise live on air. And inshallah, we'll probably have them. Could you be with us tomorrow, inshallah? I need to catch up with Ask Huda. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I want to say Jazakumullahu khairan. Wabarakallahu fikum. Uh, we ask Allah to accept from you and from us insha'Allah and we want to say Jazakumullahu khairan to our dear guests wa barakallahu feekum we thank you very much for watching for interacting we thank you for the phone calls for those who have called us we did talk about the last days of Hajj these are the last two days we do thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we do have more gratitude uh, our faith has increased alhamdulillah so now the question is is our faith going to stay high or is it going to go back down if it stays high, that's good. And if it goes back down, that's okay. No problem. As long as it goes back up. Just like that machine at the hospital. Yeah, it goes up and down. So every time your faith goes down, make sure you bring it back up with some good actions. These are the last days. Say Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Repeat it a lot. Some of these Sahabis, they used to say it thousands of times. One Sahabi used to say it 100,000 times a day, Subhanallah. We probably can't do that, but we could try. And 
we could say قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد three times you read this three times Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you the reward of a person who read the glorious Quran one time you read it ten times Allah built for you one palace in Jannah subhanallah what's greater than that so we want to make sure that we take advantage of what we learned and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from us and to grant us paradise inshallah this is it time is up Jazakumullah khairan once again, Barakallahu Fikum, Wa Sallillahumma Ala Muhammad, Wa Salaamu Alaikum, Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuhu.